Hey everyone, welcome to another video. This video is gonna be my lip declutter. I'm gonna be decluttering liquid lipsticks, lip glosses, and bullet lipsticks. And I was just feeling the urge. I was just feeling ready to finally declutter my lipsticks again. All this time I had in my mind that it was pretty... A pretty short time ago but actually it's been eight months since i did a lip declutter so it is about time and i have a lot of really old lipsticks here and it's time to finally say goodbye it's so hard for me to actually say goodbye to my lip products but i feel like i just have to really go through really be strict and really be mindful of the things that i'm actually still gonna use and then i'm actually planning to kind of look around and see if i can find products to replace these lipsticks because some of these lipsticks are pretty old but i keep them because I, they are the only lipstick i have in that particular color so after this i might repurchase some things i might purchase some new things but i'm at least planning to really basically get rid of half i'm planning to get rid of a lot here it's gonna be quite strict and i'm really really gonna try and be very very rigorous with this declutter so that's what we're gonna do let's get right into it so if you haven't been on my channel before my name is marley and i love making youtube videos about makeup and beauty i love trying out new makeup i love using my older makeup and i also love doing declutters it's something that i really enjoy doing i find it so satisfying to do so that's also something you can see on my channel if that sounds good to you then don't forget to subscribe i usually upload about two to three videos a week and i would love to see you again on my channel so i have two kind of baskets here in front of me and then a lot of lipsticks that i pulled from everywhere and anywhere project pan shop my stash from my bags so this is basically everything that i own it's not a crazy amount when i decluttered the last time i already decluttered quite a bit but i still feel like there is a lot here that i'm not going to use anymore so we are going to go through and i think i'm just gonna and it just started raining a bit hopefully you can't hear that otherwise it's just gonna be part of the ambiance of this video i'm thinking how i should do this i think i'm just gonna start with all the things that are outside of the baskets and then i'm gonna go through the baskets themselves so i have a few things here that are new and a few things here that i'm surely getting rid of the things that i'm keeping for sure is this a shine theory lip gloss by nala this is my favorite i'm using it up in my project pen i really love this one by the way in my last lip declutter i swatched so many of these lips but this time i'm not gonna be swatching everything because it takes such a long time and i already did a lot of that in my last video so if you want to see more swatches check out that other video as well i might swatch some things but i'm not gonna be swatching everything so the next thing i have here is the mac lipstick and up the amp it's a beautiful purpley shade i love the shade but i never ever wear this it's a cream lipstick it's so nice but i love the idea of purple lipstick but i don't really wear it so i'm gonna get rid of this and it's also a bit too old to give to someone most of the things i'm gonna declare are really too old to give to someone so i'm just gonna be throwing away a lot of these things i have this mini ofra liquid lipstick this one is in the shade mocha i got this for free as a sample it's quite a nice shade but it doesn't really work on me it looks like a deeper nude but there's a slight hint of purple in this and when i wear these types of shades that purple really comes through and it does look very weird on me i don't really love it maybe maybe i could make it work but these types of shades i usually don't reach for so i'm gonna be decluttering this one maybe i can give it to my sister or something like that then i have uh, this lipstick this one is new this is the onan's eye cream lip stain in water lily i haven't tried this yet i actually haven't swatched it yet so i'm gonna do that right now it's a bit of a mauve tone but like a mauve terracotta pretty deep it's i think it's gonna be a nice fall tone for sure a nice fall lipstick it does have a little bit of shimmer in there the other shade that i have in this 
the one called little jasmine doesn't have any shimmer and this has a little bit of that so that's interesting i just have to go and try this on my lips very soon then i have this kiko milano fruit explosion lipstick in the shade 01 i don't know this is the pearly lipstick i kind of didn't like this one i thought it felt a bit dry and gritty and i didn't like the effect on the lips it was it was too strong of a metallic i felt i didn't feel like it was really flattering so i'm gonna get rid of this but um i've heard people say that they quite like this lipstick it just wasn't for me so next up i have this flower beauty lipstick in the shade blossom this one is new i'm still testing it out it's really creamy and shiny and very emollient i'm i'm not sure about this yet i don't know just yet i don't know if it's gonna be too creamy and too smeary for me or that eventually i will end up liking it i only wore this i think one time so i'm gonna be keeping this for sure still testing that this one i'm also this one is also new this is the nars power matte lip pigment in star woman i have not tried this one yet it was free with my nars order Wow, that's really liquidy. It's a beautiful shade though, but I don't know if I'm gonna love that. I'm gonna have to try that out on the lips. Very interesting. It's a different formula than other things that I have, but now that I see it, I'm kind of scared that it's gonna go in my lip lines. I, I will just have to try it. This mini I got for free with my Artist Couture order when I ordered the... What was it called? The Ethereal Bloom Palette. This is a nice bronzy shimmery lip gloss. I forget about this one, but it's really pretty. So I definitely have to use this. It's so, it's like almost rose gold bronzy with a lot of sparkle in there, but not too sparkly in a way that it's too chunky. It's really interesting. It's a pretty color. I just, I just have not grabbed for this one i zoomed you in just a little bit so you can see the swatches a little bit better this is the lip gloss so next up this is the revolution and soap lipstick in the shade cake this one i know i'm not gonna use i got this for free it's a nice color but it's just too creamy and smeary for me i'm not gonna be using that one I usually either love a more satin opaque lipstick or something that is very sheer and shiny and this isn't really my thing. Then I have these two lip lingerie lip glosses by NYX and I just feel like these aren't good anymore. They are separating. They are not really <laughs> looking that great and I just feel like it's time to let go of these. I don't really feel like wearing these anymore. They are quite pretty shades. I enjoyed wearing them for a little while, but this just isn't what I'm going to be reaching for. I think I'd rather try some other formulas, but at this moment, I don't really know what lip gloss formulas I really, really like. I'm a bit unsure what lip glosses are good for me to try. So if you have any recommendations, I would like to try some other lip glosses because I don't have a lot and I do like wearing a lip gloss from time to time. So let me know so this is the catrice clean id ultra high shine lipstick in the shade tank nude next this is a very nice sheer shiny lipstick in a bit of a mid-tone nude shade i really like it this is in my shop my stash as well then this catrice gel plumping lipstick in 170 is a light nude shade a sheer shiny lipstick this is in my project pen i'm gonna be keeping that one i really like it all right so this liquid lipstick i put in my shop my stash i really love the shade in this formula this is a sephora cream lip stain in shade 39 it's such a nice cool tone brown it's so pretty i love how this looks and i love wearing this in the fall and winter but i feel like this has gotten too old i just felt it on my lips it was just too old it felt a bit weird and uncomfortable i will definitely repurchase this but i think it's time to let go of this particular one because it's just so so old i don't even want to tell you how old this is. This is way past the expiration date. So it's time to let go of some of these Sephora cream lip stains. Because there are other ones that I bought around this time as well. So probably I'm gonna end up decluttering a few of these. And then I will probably 
do an order and buy my favorites again maybe i will just buy five liquid lipsticks like these i don't wear them all the time but i just have a few favorites then i have this nars lip oil in the shade laguna this is new i'm still testing it out i really like it. it's really pretty it's hydrating it's a nice bronzy shade but it's pretty sheer it's not a huge effect you don't really see the color that much on the lips then this one the same story as the sephora lip stain this was in my shop my stash i tried it on and it just felt like it was too old it felt weird on my lips i didn't felt it didn't feel comfortable anymore this one is in frick and frack the ultra satin lip love the shade i love how it looks but it's just too too old and i think it's time to let go I just don't feel like letting go of these older lipsticks but then they're just sitting in my collection and I don't feel comfortable anymore wearing them and then I feel like I have so many lipsticks but I don't wear any of them I only wear like five of them and I just want to mix it up a little bit more and also try some new things so this is gonna go very sad that that isn't available anymore but there are some alternatives I guess that I could check out then I have this Nabla Dream Creamy lipstick in the shade Hedonist keeping this one for sure I love this one. Then I also got this new lipstick from the new Kiko collection. I did a video on this as well. So this is a, a Precious Rituals Vegan Matte Lip Stylo. It's a cool tone nude shade. Very pretty. Very, very nice. And I'm going to be keeping this for sure. Of course, it's just... It is new in my collection. I did, I did want to show you everything in my collection. Because I just love showing you my collection as well. But there are some things here that I know I'm not going to declutter. Another one of those is this new set of four Kaleidos lip glaze. I have the shade Bear here. I haven't really swatched them out. So I can do that right now. This is shade Bear. This is the shade Wild Apple. This is the brightest one. That looks very nice. I hope you could kind of see that. So this is Bear and this is Wild Apple. Then this is the shade Adobe. I've already worn this one. This is more of a warm tone nude. And then we have the shade Pink Moon as well. This is more of a warm pink. A very, very warm pink. Very interesting. So those I still have to try. I just got them. So those are gonna stay. Then I have this Kiko Protecting Lip Balm SPF 20. I hated this. I hated this so much. It's so gross. The taste is it just gives me a headache. I hated this so much. And I'm not going to do this to anyone else. I'm just going to get rid of that one. Then this Lip Pajama Night Mask by Catrice. It's so gritty. I don't like this one. I am going to get rid of that one. So let's move on to the first of the boxes. I'm just going to put everything on the table. And then we can go through it. Alright, so this is everything from the first box and I already see a bunch of things that I want to declutter. So one thing I'm planning to declutter is these Atos lipsticks. These are really, really old. They, these are so old. I really like these. I use them a lot. You can see I really use them, but they are so old and I don't reach for them anymore because they are just too old. I just, I have to say goodbye. It's time to let go. I really love these for such a long time, but they are just too, too old. And it's also, you can't really get this if you're not in the Netherlands. And so I don't really like to use them as much as other things. I feel like I'd rather buy things and use things that... I can actually recommend to you if these were my absolute favorites and these weren't so old I would probably still keep them because I don't want to get rid of things just because other people can buy it but this is just all the things together I just have to declutter these then I have this essence semi shine lipstick in the shade why not I don't know if I want to keep this it's quite a bright pink it's a shiny lipstick but it's more of a creamy shine i don't know if i've if i'm actually gonna reach for this i quite like it but it's nothing 
special. It's nothing really special and I don't know if this is gonna be a shade that I'm really gonna be into. Maybe I can keep it around for a little bit longer and just use it one time and just see if I will like it. It's raining so hard. I hope it's not gonna be like super distracting of a, or apparent in this video but okay I'm just gonna keep this around for a little while longer. This one I'm gonna keep for sure. This is the Creme de la Femme lipstick by MAC. I've had this for a little bit, but not super long. It's such a nice metallic finish lipstick. For some reason, this looks very, very flattering and I just really, really love it. So this is gonna stay. Another one that's gonna stay is gonna be this MAC lipstick. This is from a limited edition. This is the A La Plage Luster lipstick. This is one of my favorites. I really, really, I really love this one and I'm definitely gonna be keeping this one. It's also pretty new in my collection. I love the packaging on this. Then over here we have the MAC matte lipstick in the shade Mare. I think it's time to let go of this. I used it a lot, I used it a bunch. It was my favorite for a while, but I think it has gotten too old it has gotten so old and i just i would rather declutter this really old one then start to miss it and buy it again and then have this around i feel like i already have it but never use it because it's so old then this demi matte lipstick from catrice this is a very cool toned light nude shade but very nice for me i feel in the winter so i'm gonna be keeping that one this one also isn't that old then this plumping gel lipstick by catrice in a light red shade this is pretty new i'm gonna be keeping this one this one i'm gonna be decluttering this is the matte 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 lipstick by essence this is pretty old i don't know how old this is exactly but i'd rather just buy a new lipstick in this shade this is also not a shade that i reach for a lot so i just think it's time to let go it's it's so old then i have this soft matte metallic lip cream from nyx in the shade rome i've had this for a few years but i know i'm not really gonna reach for it i know i'm not gonna really gonna use it so this is gotta go then this soft matte lip cream in the shade it doesn't say it was in a set i believe this is quite a nice pinky nude shade. I'm going to be keeping this one. Then this one is the shade also from a set. This is a cool tone nude. I really like this one. I'm going to be keeping this one as well. Then I have this full satin lipstick by Catrice in shade 040. It's a little bit deep for me. It's not the perfect shade, but I'm going to be keeping this one around just to have one lipstick in this particular shade. It's the same as that one, the same as that Ofra lipstick where it has a slight purpley undertone that really becomes apparent on my lips. So it doesn't always work, but I still wanna keep around one of these types of lipsticks. Then this one, this one is a Kiko lipstick in shade 04. It's a little bit of a light red shade, very, very pretty. This shade is so gorgeous, but this is so old. And I feel like it's time to let go. It's so pretty though. I love these types of shades. It's like a light red, a soft red. It's so pretty. I almost, I want to keep it, but it's just, it's from a really really old kiko collection and i think if i would just pay a little bit attention of attention to the kiko collections that i'd probably be able to buy something like this again so i think i should just get rid of this one and pay some attention to their new collections maybe buy something similar it's such a pretty shade though it's so so pretty and this particular formula was so comfortable and so long wearing so good i have other lipsticks from that collection as well this one is in the shade 06 this is a darker red very very pretty but this is gonna go as well it's just it's just about time to let go of these i just really want to make some space and buy some new things it is time so this one from the same collection this was my favorite for a long time this this is such a good shade i really really loved wearing this one it's like how would you call it like a warm light mauve almost so so pretty and of course i'm swatching a bunch of things look at that that is like the perfect nude shade for me that really works for me but it's too old it has gotta go i just 
I just have to remind myself that I can buy new lipstick, that I don't have to all hold on to lipsticks that are so, so old. Then this Ultra High Shine lipstick by Catrice. It's new, it's nice, it's a cool toned, shiny nude lipstick. Really like it, I'm gonna keep it. Then this Tuscan Sunshine Lip Stylo, shiny lip stylo by Kiko is not that old. It's a really nice mauve tone. Really like it. I'm gonna be keeping that one. This a lipstick by Essence. It's pretty new. I don't use it a lot, but I'm gonna be keeping it for just a little bit longer to see if maybe I will be using it. It's a bit too shiny almost for me. I feel like it's a bit much, but I'm gonna be keeping it because it's new. Then I have this Matte 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 lipstick in 02. It's a beautiful shade. It's a beautiful fall tone it's like a warm mauve but it's not too dark or with too much of a purpley undertone for me but this is like broken it's too old i'm gonna get rid of this then i have this soft matte lip cream in the shade rome this is in the normal the regular formula this is in a regular formula not in a metallic formula i don't know if i feel like keeping this one no i don't think i'm gonna be keeping this one it's a nice shade but i don't think i'm gonna be using it then i have this really me lipstick this is a mac lipstick i think this one is really similar to the catrice one but i for sure prefer the catrice one because it's a little bit deeper and a little bit easier to wear i don't I don't really love this shade on me. It's always so hard to pull off. It's so hard to wear. I have to use the exact right lip liner and then it is so thick. It just looks so thick and weird on my lips. I Now that I look at it, I'm like, it's such a good shade. Can't I try and make it work? I don't know. Should I try and make it work? But then maybe once again, I'm not going to be reaching for it. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'd rather reach for this one the catrice one because it's a little bit more wearable i think this one is gonna go in a maybe pile i'm not 100 percent sure about that just yet then i have this h&m lipstick this one is in the shade strawberry mochi it's like a really really warm pink it's like a really like a strawberry nude actually i don't love the formula it's a little bit too dry but i love the color so i'm gonna be keeping this one then this Fenty gloss in the shade Fussy. I kind of don't like this gloss. I think it is too heavily perfumed. It's too heavily fragranced. That's how you say it. And that just gives me a headache. I don't really find it that interesting or that special as well. I don't find this to look so extremely different on my lips that I find it worth it. But I just don't want to get rid of it because it's like a more expensive gloss in my collection. So I don't know. I, can't, I just, I guess I kind of just keep it because it is something the only thing i have from fenty and it's a little bit more expensive i did spend my money on this maybe it's just so uncomfortable to wear i'm gonna put this in the maybe pile then i have this demi matte lipstick by catrice in 140 it's like a purply warm purply nude i really like this i think it's such a flattering shade i also have this one the vegan collagen matte lipstick in 010 this one only really works on me if my lips are really hydrated. But I'm still going to be keeping it because it's new. And I just have to remind myself to use this when my lips aren't dry, I guess. Then I have this Sephora Liquid Lipstick in 41. I don't know if this one is still good. I don't know why when I bought this. I feel like I bought this later than the other lipstick. I think I'm going to be keeping this one for now, but maybe I will find out that it's really old and then I might still declutter it. This is a MAC lipstick in D for Danger. This is like the most pretty pinky red lipstick that exists. I feel like it's getting pretty old and I never really use it, but it's also so old that I don't use it. I think I'm going to get rid of this one with pain in my heart with so much pain in my heart i'm gonna get rid of this but if i start building my collection again 
and I'm missing a shade like this, I might repurchase. But then I just need to have this one shade and not buy all the shades in this kind of color and then just use that shade when I do more of a statement lip. It's so pretty. I would highly recommend it. It's such a gorgeous shade. There's a big chance that I'm gonna repurchase that, but it's just, it's so old. This is an Essence lipstick in Don't Stop the Nude. It's a brown, cool tone brown lipstick. And it's kind of like a shiny, creamy lipstick. It's so flattering. I love how this looks, but it's really, really old. It still smells good. It still smells how it used to smell. But I don't know if that's enough to make me keep it because it's really so old. It's kind of like the same kind of shade as it... 39 shade from Sephora. I guess I just have to go out and find a shade like this because this type of cool toned brown, I really, really like how that looks on me. I really like that, but I'm just not gonna reach for it because it's so old. So I just have to keep in mind the kinds of shades that I really want to have in my collection and then just kind of go on the hunt for them. So if you have any lip recommendations, lipsticks that you really love, that you think I should try, let me know. I would love to know. Then this Catrice Limited Edition Caviar Gouge Fleur de Soir lipstick is a dark red, like a shiny or no, this is a matte dark red. I don't know how old this is exactly. I don't feel like this is the oldest lipstick in my collection. I don't feel like this is crazy, crazy old. It's a really beautiful shade. I think I'm gonna be keeping this one. Then this H&M lipstick in Penny Red. This is a creamy red lipstick. It is a little bit of an interesting one. It almost has a little bit of a muted purpley undertone. I think I'm gonna be keeping this one, but this one, I guess I should find something like a lip liner that would work with that one. Because it's a, it's quite a creamy lipstick and then I like to wear it with a lip liner. And then I have some more Catrice. This is the one in Pink Addiction. This is very new and very very pretty i really love that one i'm gonna be keeping it this one is a 070 it's kind of like a rosy shade very very pretty i'm gonna be keeping that one then i am not entirely sure if i want to keep this one this is a maybelline vivid hot lacquer this is kind of like a cool toned glass but it's really really pigmented so it's kind of like almost like a liquid lip and then i also have this shade in the slip tees, this is decadent. This is by NYX. And this is a little bit more peachy. So I don't know if I want to keep these. And I also don't know if I want to keep them both. I also have this Nabla cream lip stain or dreamy creamy lipstick liquid lipstick apparently I forget the name of my favorite liquid lip, but this is the one in Eve, and it's kind of like in between the two. I think if I would use anything, I would use Eve. They are similar enough. This is the one from Maybelline. This is the one from NYX. And this is the one from Nabla. I think, I think it's pretty clear to me. I don't think there's enough of a difference to keep them all. These two are gonna go. And of course, this one is gonna stay. Then this one is the Nabla Dream Creamy Liquid Lipstick in the shade Vicious. It's a dark red shade. I don't love the shade because it bleeds outside of my lip lines. I feel it's a bit hard for me to wear, but I still want to keep it. I want to try it one more time and then blot it down and then see if it still bleeds. If it doesn't, I can still wear it as kind of like a matte lipstick and just kind of pat down the creaminess. Then I don't know if I want to keep this one. This is the L'Oreal Gold Mirage Crushed Quartz Lip Gloss. I bought this, I think, in an outlet somewhere and it's kind of like a light pink shimmery glass but i don't know if i really need this in my life i don't know if i feel very very impressed by this but it's pretty new i don't know should i keep it or should i not i just don't feel like this is a very interesting lip product I think I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile and think about it a little bit longer. This is a Kiko Born to Shine Lip Stylo in shade 02. This is from the Mood Boost collection. This is a very, 
very hard lip for me to wear it's so bright i looking at it now i don't understand really why i bought it yeah i don't think i should keep this i don't think i'm really gonna use it it's such a bright shade but i think a lot of white in there that kind of clings onto dry patches and it just doesn't look good on the lips so i'm gonna be decluttering that one okay give me a second i'm gonna clean my hand and then i will be right back to declutter the second box so this is a second box i'm just gonna be taking everything out again and showing it to you So this is gonna be mostly liquid lipsticks and a lot of these are gonna go, a lot of these. A lot of these are really, really old and it's just time to let go. The thing I'm gonna keep for sure is this Charming Escape Shiny Lipstick. This I just got, <laughs> look how gorgeous this is. It's a bit of a warm nude shade, definitely keeping. The thing I'm gonna go and get rid of uh, for sure is this powerful 5 liquid lip balm by Catrice. I'm just, I'm just done with this. I don't feel like wearing this anymore. I feel like there are other products that are more comfortable to wear, more easy to wear. This glossy lip oil I already said in my project pen that I was gonna get rid of this one and that's what I'm gonna do. It changed color and scent and I feel like it's gotten too old. It's not old in like months or years. But I've just used it a lot and it just changed a bit. So that's gonna be the end of that one in my collection. This one I'm gonna keep. This is the Juvia's Place Muted Lipstick. It's kind of like a cool toned light brown. A really interesting shade. Now I'm kind of wondering if this is similar to... No, I don't... This is gonna be a little bit more of a taupey shade almost than the other brownie lipsticks i just decluttered i can swatch it this one is a bit deeper i think this is the 39 yeah that's a little bit deeper so that's not gonna be one that's gonna replace that shade this one is gonna go as well this one was one of the first sephora liquid lipstick that i tried such a good purple if there's one purple lipstick in my collection that i actually used a lot it's gonna be this one it's so good so this is gonna go because it's just too old this one this one i also bought around that time this is one of the first for cream lip stains that i got or a uh, liquid lip stains oh it's called cream lip stain of course okay this is a one in 25 this one i'm gonna repurchase for sure because this is one of the most beautiful most special liquid lipstick shades that i have it's a, like a really warm red or kind of like a rusty orange but toned down in a way that it's still really flattering and i really really love how this looks on me so i'm gonna be repurchasing this one but it's gonna be decluttered because it's just too old this one is a shade 85 this one isn't too old in my collection i'm gonna be keeping this one same goes for the shade 57 this one i'm also gonna keep also not a really old then this is a shade 81. I also don't feel like this is extremely old. Gonna be keeping this one. This is the shade 55. This is one of my absolute favorites. I love it, but the packaging is broken. So I'm gonna be keeping it, but I might, if I end up doing an order, making an order of Sephora, of Sephora cream lip stains, I might, I might just repurchase this one just because the packaging is broken. This uh, Clinique Balmy lipstick is way too light for me, so I'm gonna be getting rid of this one. I feel like my camera isn't really focusing on the thing I'm holding in my hand, it's focusing on the things that are on the table. I am sorry about that, I hope that's not been going on the whole time. Maybe if I keep it a bit lower, okay. So this is way too light for me. It doesn't look flattering. I don't feel like I need to keep this. Then this Kiko Fruit Explosion Watermelon Creamy Lipstick. This is quite a nice shade. It's quite nice. I don't mind it. It's good enough. I'm going to be keeping this one around. I do feel like it could be a little bit similar to one of the Catrice lipsticks. This one. 
I want to swatch them next to each other. So that was one in 170. This is the watermelon creamy lipstick. The watermelon creamy lipstick is a little bit more creamy, a little bit more bright. I think I can keep them both. The Alpha Cream Lip Stain in Little Jasmine, I'm going to be keeping for sure. This is one of my favorites. That's kind of like a warmer nude. This Sephora Cream Lip Stain is in 38. This is one of the older ones in my collection. I'm going to be decluttering this one. But this is a beautiful shade I might repurchase. Then this one is in 72. This one is one of the newer ones. So I'm going to be keeping this one. It's kind of like a cool tone nude. This one is the one in 13. I don't know. This is not the oldest but also not the newest one that I have. But I think... I think I'm going to be decluttering this one and I might buy it again. This one is a shade 33. This is a light cool tone nude. I'm going to be keeping this one. It's a bit hard to wear, but I think if I combine this with a lip liner that I might be able to make this work. I just want to try that. This is a cream lip stain in 87. This is also not one of the very old ones. I'm going to be keeping it. This one is a shade 37. It's a very cool tone nude. I'm going to be decluttering this one. This one is a shade 70. It's it's a really beautiful warm nude. I'm going to be keeping this one. It's pretty new. This is 84. I don't know how old or new this is exactly. Might be on the verge of being too old. I'm going to try and see. This one is a shade 40. This is pretty new. But I don't know if I still love wearing something like this. It's like a cool tone nude. But it definitely has a little bit of a purpley grayish undertone to it. I don't know if I really think I'm still going to be using that one. But probably it's going to be the only shade that I have that's going to be like this. So I'm going to be keeping it. This is the shade 24. It's really old, but it's a beautiful shade. I'm going to be keeping this. What am I saying? I'm going to be getting rid of this one, but I'm going to repurchase it probably. Let's see. This is a shade 83. It's a little bit of a deep shade for me. A little bit of a purple shade for me. It's pretty purple looking at it like this. But I think I'm going to be keeping it and trying it a little bit more. It looks really pretty like this. Alright, this is the Colourpop Ultra Satin Lip in the shade 0. This is such a beautiful shade. I really love it, but I just never reach for it. It's a little bit in between this shade and this shade. Yeah, I don't know. I think this one is too old. I really like it. I really liked wearing it, but it's just a little bit of a hard one for me to grab for a hard one for me to wear. So I'm gonna be getting rid of this one. It's really sad, but at some point the Ultra Satin Lips are just too old and yeah can't get them anymore that's really sad this is shade 23 also a really old one one of the first ones i bought so it's time to let go so now i still have some colourpop lippies and let's see which ones i might still keep this is the one with I love Sarah E. This is the one that is called 951. I do not know if this is getting too old. It's a really nice shade. I don't know about that one. This is the one called Dopey. This is like a cool tone mauve nude. Alright, I had to stop filming for a little bit. I don't know what exactly I was saying. I think I was talking about Dopey. It's a little bit simpler, similar to the 83 shade, but not exactly the same. I don't know if this is too old. I guess maybe it might still work. That's a maybe. This is a maybe. This is the shade Echo Park. Yeah, I don't want to use that anymore, I think. I think this one is too old. This one is the shade Barracuda. I think this is also a little bit older. It's a little bit of a deeper shade. It doesn't smell as bad as the other ones. But I don't know how do they smell when you first get them. I don't remember. I don't know. Should I keep this? This is a maybe. This is a one in the shade Wish. This isn't that old. I'm going to keep this one. That one definitely isn't that old. Then this one is in the shade November. Yeah, this one is old. I'm going to get rid of that one. This one is in the shade Calypso. I don't know about that one. I feel like it's a bit older, but it doesn't smell that bad. This one is the shade Dreamy. 
I think I'm gonna get rid of this one because I have one from the Sephora Cream Lip Stains that's a bit similar. And this one is completely separated. This is the one in Alyssa. This is gonna go. So I'm gonna be decluttering that one as well. Let's chat about the maybes. This one is gonna go the Really Me shade from MAC. I don't want that anymore. This one I think I'm gonna get rid of. It's just not interesting enough to me to wear. Although I don't really have lip glosses left then. I feel like I only have two lip glosses left then, but I just don't really feel like wearing this one. And I think I should buy some new ones and see, and just test out some new ones and see how I feel. I don't know, should I keep this one? It's just so extremely sweet, but in a way that makes me get a headache. It's like the Onus Eye ones, these ones, they are also really sweet, but they don't give me a headache. I think I'm gonna let go of this one. Why am I keeping something in my collection that I hate? So I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna be decluttering this one. It's, it's sad. I wish this worked out for me, but I've been talking about this one. I've been talking about this one and how much I hate it. So it's time to let go. So I'm just gonna take out one of the boxes and I'm gonna put everything in and see how much I still have and if it's gonna fit. So I just cleaned it a little bit. Let's put in some lipsticks. This one I'm gonna not put in here because that is my project pen one. So it doesn't completely fit, but it almost fits. I have to still figure it out a little bit. So just let me quickly count what I kept. It's about 47. I kept 47 lip products. That still, it sounds like a lot. It sounds like quite a lot. Maybe it's, <laughs> maybe it's a good thing that I did this. So this is like 47, I might be 48. I will count it a bit better after I'm done filming for the title. Then everything that I decluttered. So I decluttered a bunch of lipsticks. Let me quickly count. So I decluttered 43, so that's about half, not exactly half, almost half, and that's pretty good. I think that's the most lip products I've ever decluttered. Most of these I'm gonna throw out, some of these I might see if someone wants it, and I might repurchase some of these as well. Probably my lip collection is gonna grow a little bit in the coming months if I'm gonna look around and kind of see if I can replace any of these shades. I feel like I'm kind of missing a few shades after this declutter, but we're gonna see. I'm just gonna use my lip collection and see if I actually feel like buying anything else. So yeah, that's gonna be everything for today's video. That's gonna be everything for today's declutter. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe and then I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.